Hi, it's Jess from Sun Valley Trading Co, the Australian distributors of cowboy, industrial sewing machines and leather machines. This video is to describe to you the different models of heavy duty sewing machines. If you're looking for something that will use a thick thread, then helping you to decide which model sewing machine you should go for. These ones that we're going to talk about today are all the cylinder arm options that I carry here in Australia. These thick thread machines are suitable for sewing that you want to use a thread from a metric 20 size and thicker. That metric 20 is also known as 138 or Tex 130 in the different ways of talking about thread sizes. If you want to use a thread size that's smaller than that, most likely you would want to choose a machine out of the light to medium duty range, which we will have another video at some stage about that. The main limitation for thread size is based on the size of needle that you can get. All of these machines that we're talking about today use a System 794 needle. In the Smets brand that I sell needles of, the smallest leather point needle is a size 23, which is suitable, but possibly a little bit on the big side for even the metric 20 size thread. The R point needles, which are the needles for sewing anything other than leather, go down to a size 21, which you can use a metric 30 size thread with them. Sometimes I have had customers that want to use the thinner thread and also want to sew leather and they just go with the R point needles because if you're only sewing something really thin it doesn't make quite so much difference as trying to punch a needle through several layers of leather. So we'll start with going through these machines. This one I have here is the 105. It's the um, economical budget sort of sewing machine. It's quite robust. It's very simple. The main thing about it that makes it not quite so, not as good as the like 3200, 4500 is this feed mechanism. This is a drop feed mechanism so the only thing that is feeding the material through is the feed dog and so it has some fairly aggressive kind of teeth there which is fine on canvas and so on but on your softer leathers it can scratch down the side and leave marks which if you're sewing something like tooled leather or painted leather is really not quite so desirable. There are things you can do to stop that or at least alleviate it a bit by like sewing a piece of paper onto the underside of what you're doing and then pulling paper off later. It sort of absorbs, it, absorbs the scratches without it going onto the leather. Um, these machines have a foot lift of 12 millimeters. So you can kind of only sew up to about 10 millimeters thick stack of material in there. Um, but you can sew canvas, leather, PVC, webbing, any of those industrial sort of materials. The bobbin binder is driven off the belt here. The, it has forwards and reverse. Um, which is easy to change with this lever, that's in forwards, that's in reverse, and you can adjust the stitch length here. The maximum stitch length is six millimetres long in the stitches. The foot options are very limited with just this foot and a slightly smaller footprint, smooth bottom, presser foot for sewing leather. The arm length here is 26 centimetres, which is reasonable, medium sort of size, 
which gives you a bit of space for putting things along the arm. It has the uh, a pedal in the stand for the extra alternative presser foot lift. Um, and the large bobbins. They're not quite as big as the bobbins that go on a mach the machines like 3200 and 4500, um, but they still are those big bobbins. So the main thing about these machines to consider is the limited range of presser feet and this feed dog system. So this just shows the teeth on the feed dog here. and the feeding mechanism of it. So it's just a feed dog that's, that moves. The foot is not a walking foot. It's just solid. It's just the feed dog underneath that is moving the material through. I'll just have a look at the bobbin here. As you can see, it's quite a decent sized bobbin for your thick thread to fit plenty on there. This 105 is available to purchase as the head only, so just the sewing machine, and then you can operate it by winding the, hand, the flywheel by hand, um, and I can screw a machine, machinist handle into the edge so you can wind the handle with that. The other option is to buy it set up on a table like this, the U-shaped table, or alternatively, you can also get it set up on the pedestal table, which you'll be able to see that set up later on when we look at the larger machines. But this machine is also able to be set up like that. So we'll move on to the other economical way of getting into a heavy duty sewing machine, which is the Cowboy Outlaw. The Cowboy Outlaw is a solely hand operated machine, whereas a machine like the 105, you can buy it as a hand operated and then later on add the table and motor or put it onto an existing table or motor that you already have. Um, the Cowboy Outlaw is hand operated with this lever here, so there's no real allowance to be able to run it off a belt. Um, they are the cheapest way to get into a really heavy duty sewing machine. The thickness that they can sew through is pretty impressive for a machine like this. So that's about 15 millimetres thick there. The foot on these lifts 19 millimetres, which gives you quite a Space there. It's lifted by using this um, squeeze on the lever. You can sew these thick stacks of leather, but also you can sew quite reasonably on a thin piece, say one and a half to two mil thick as well. Uh, they use the same needle system that we talked about at the beginning of this video and that allows you to use a thread from size metric 20 to a metric 8 quite easily. In the presser foot options there's this double toe foot and you can also get a left toe version or a right toe version and there's also a stainless steel flatbed table attachment that fits around the needle plate here if you want to have a bit more flat space for your work. These machines don't have a bobbin winder that's driven. You need to use a drill. It comes with a bit that you put into a battery powered drill and then just run the thread off here and wind it onto the bobbin. The maximum stitch length on these outlaws is six millimeters long and stitch length is adjusted on this dial here. It doesn't have 
a reverse function. You just need to, because it's really hands-on and you can really operate it and make the stitch go where you want to, you just pull the material, like as you lift the foot, pull the material towards you so that the stitch goes backwards instead. These are quite a light machine if you want something that you can just put on the bench in the shed, put in the cupboard when you don't need it, have it in your trailer or something if you're traveling in your horse float so you can do some repairs on your horse gear. They can sew leather, canvas, webbing, all those industrial type materials. So this is the most economical way to get into a heavy duty sewing machine. Uh, oh, one thing I didn't mention was the feed. On the sewing machines don't have a feed dog, so there's nothing underneath there that's gonna scratch your material. They operate as a needle feed. So it's just the needle dragging the material through that creates your stitch length. And the foot does a bit of a jump to allow it through. So now we'll move on to some of the compound feed sewing machines. So this is the Cowboy 3200. It's of the smaller capability in the thick thread sewing machines. Smaller capability as far as how thick of a stack you can sew, but they're still quite capable. The foot lifts on the 16 millimeters high with the pedal to get the full 16 millimeters lift there. But they do have the lever that you can use to lift it and keep the foot up. So the foot lifts 16 millimetres, but you can generally sew, say, 12 millimetres or so thick stack of material. The arm length here, the space that you have to work in is 26 centimetres. The maximum stitch length is 12 millimetres. Um, they have the bobbin winder that's driven by the belt. These are quite a large bobbin that hold quite a lot of thread. Even with your thick thread, you can still fit quite a lot on it. This machine is available in the U-shaped configuration like this. This like desk type table, or you can also have it set up on the pedestal table, which we will show you the next two machines as pedestal table options. There are lots of different press of feet that you can use on these machines, and they are interchangeable between the 3200 3500 and the 4500, they all take the same type of feet. So you can get left and right toe versions of this harness foot, left and right toe versions of an edge presser foot, uh, the blanket foot, piping feet, a narrow inline presser foot, and there's also different needle plate options as well. So set up on this machine today, this is our special narrow slotted needle plate that we have got made here in Australia. They give you a lot of versatility with these heavy duty sewing machines. With the standard type of plate, there's quite a large slot there that the feed dog moves up and down in, which creates some problems with thinner type materials falling down into that slot as you're trying to feed it across. And also the same thing happens if you're trying to sew really close to the edge, say if you're stitching reins or something like that. So this narrow slotted needle plate with the narrow feed dog in there gives you the best options to be able to sew from something quite thin, like thin kangaroo leather, even fabric up to your really thick leathers that a machine like this is capable of. So this is quite a robust machine. So the big feature of these compound feed machines is this triple feed mechanism. 
which if you haven't seen it before, it could be quite interesting. So we have, this is the feed dog underneath. And you'll notice that the presser foot arrangement on these is a little bit different to on say the drop feed machine of the 105. We have this foot in the middle that the needle goes through and then the back presser foot as well. You see how they all work together to be able to feed your material through. So it's the three working together, which is why it's known as triple feed or compound feed. This is the Cowboy 3500. It's not quite so well known of a machine, but it fits in between the 3200 and the 4500. It has the extra high presser foot lift of the 4500, but a short arm. So a machine like this, the presser foot lifts 22 millimetres, so you can sew thick stacks of material around 80 mil or so as a maximum. But you can also go down to the thinner style, thinner materials if you choose to get the narrow slotted needle plate, as that option is also available for these machines. The stitch, maximum stitch length on these machines is 12 millimetres, which is quite a long stitch but you can control it all the way down as well. This is the reverse and stitch length adjustment together here. So just push it up to go into reverse, down forwards, and adjust it with this nut here to get your stitch length. This machine also has the bob and winder driven by the belt the same large style bobbins that hold quite a lot of thread. The arm length that is available here is 22 centimetres, which is reasonably short, but these machines are suitable for applications like sewing quite thick bridles and halters out of your really thick, like old world harness leather and so on or for sewing uh, knife sheaths, where you get quite a thick stack of leather by the time you have your reasonably thick leather that you're making it out of, and then you welt in between to space out the width of your blade as well. Um, some people that I have sold them to do that sort of thing, and their stack of leather that they're sewing through is like 15 mil or so once it's all put together. So they don't need much of an arm here, but they do need the really high presser foot lift. These machines also have the option of the stainless steel flatbed table attachment that is just a square that goes around the needle plate there. And they have the same presser foot options as we talked about for the 3200 with the left and right toe presser feet and the piping foot, the narrow presser foot, blanket foot and this standard harness foot that it comes with. It also has different needle plate options as well for holster plate and stirrup plate. So for sewing where you need a thick thread and a thick capability of material, the 3500 is an excellent choice. If you need a longer space for sewing, then you need the 4500, which we will look at next. So this is the Cowboy 4500 with the extra long arm and the high presser foot lift for sewing those large items like your saddle skirts. The narrow slotted needle plate is also an option on these machines that we looked at on the 3200. The same thing is available for the 3500 and the 4500. So with that capability, you can also use this machine for sewing say your deep handbags where you don't, you're not really sewing anything super thick but you do want the extra long arm capability. So the space here is 40 centimetres. The foot will lift 22 mils so you can sew a stack of leather at least 18 mils thick if you want to. But you can also go down to the fabric even or at least 
thin room leather if you have the narrow sort of needle plate. There's lots of presser feet available for this machine as well because they're all interchangeable. With the harness foot, the left and right turret presser feet, piping feet, the inline presser foot, and the blanket foot, and also different needle plates available. The narrow slitter needle plate, holster plates, and stirrup plates. They have the same large bobbin that we have looked at on the previous two machines. One extra feature on this machine is that it has a built-in bobbin winder. So it doesn't have the bobbin winder that runs off the belt. It's built into the machine here. So you just run your thread down to it. So all of these machines come with, come with the two-place thread stand. So you can run two rolls of thread here and have one going to your machine and one going through the bobbin winder so you can be winding your bobbin while you're sewing. So this is set up on the pedestal table. This is the standard setup for this machine. With the servo motor and speed reducer for your extra slow sewing. It also has this huge big flywheel which adds to the slowness of the stitches for the reduction from the motor. Uh, these machines also have a thread lubricator pot at the top. Uh, you use that if you're say sewing really fast, thread needs to be lubricated. This is generally only needed if you have the problem of your thread breaking because of heat. The maximum stitch length on these machines is 12 millimeters, which you adjust similarly to the machines we've just looked at on the lever here for reverse and forward stitch. Uh, you don't need to hold it into reverse, it locks it there by itself. On some machines, the lighter duty machines, you do have to hold the lever down to sew in reverse, but these ones stay there by themselves. So you have both hands available for sewing. So that covers our range of heavy duty, thick thread industrial sewing machines for a variety of purposes, but Generally, if you're looking to sew with a thick thread of metric 20 or greater and have a thick stack of material that you want to sew through, this is the range of machines you want to look at. If you want to sew with a thinner thread, then have a look at our lighter sewing machines in the light to medium duty range. All this information that I've been telling you today, we will have in a spreadsheet that you can look at, and I'll pop the link to that at I'll pop the link to that in the description at the bottom of this video, and also I will put it up in written format as well. So depending on how you want to be able to refer to the information and compare it, you'll be able to check that out, and hopefully it makes sense and helps you to be able to choose a sewing machine that suits you. But as always, you can call us, email, message, and we are more than happy to be able to go through what you're wanting to be able to do with your sewing machine to help you choose the machine that will work for you.